Oh no, she who dances in dreams. Hello, I'd like to welcome one, welcome back to Killer is Dead. Today, we're gonna fight the person who has dream problems. Wow, that's a lot of, uh... So those first two screens are cutscene text? Not a lot of cutscene text. Which is unsettling. Oh look, we're back in the dreamscape. Wow, Mondo's in casual wear. Mondo. Isn't that when he when he woke up at first? Mondo. Look at the earth, moon, Mondo. star. Mondo. Wake up. Hey, the arm's gone. He's wearing sneakers. Oh, Mondo, you're such a casual bean. Still got red eyes, though, despite not having that arm. I'm sorry, but these products are currently being recalled. Oh look, it's not a slow dreamscape like last time. We actually start straight away at the arena that we fought the lady at. Oh, we can't use anything but our arm. Can, however, do a guard break. Possibly just for convenience sake. This again? Why are we going back in time to things that. Oh man. If you want an explanation, let's just go with video games. What I hate is that I can't get any real combos going. Didn't even get the fucking kill combo. And yes, I do feel a bit dirty every time I trigger the, uh, the X counter instead of the usual counter. The B one. I shouldn't complain, I've been saying that I wanted some health experience, and now I do. The enemy give shit for days, though. Oh, this artsy nonsense. <laughs> I wonder how often... Hard. <laughs> when you usually do it perfectly, it 
Is something the matter? Is something on your mind? I like how he's talking and. No, I think working for the government suits me. I like this discussion because. Don't taint my blood. What the fuck is? <laughs> This is why people usually don't go and try to argue with their dreamscape. It's the vitamins. David. Or David. Come here, Mondo. Look at how spooky scary he is. Please leave. How unfortunate. Yeah, he's got his cloak on for once. I like how his cape is segmented into yellow squares. This is what happens if you go along with your... Wait, oh no! The egg he has been eating that has already been eaten is perfectly intact and also look at Mondo just going around like a floppy fish. So, oh no. My egg. One egg. One egg. One egg. How about you eat a handful of peas? The fuck is wrong with you, David? Hurry up and come over here. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's just weird. What a mysterious boss fight. Is Mondo gonna flop like a fish? What an amazing dream. <laughs> Didn't, didn't we just see this? Like, I know they cut out a lot of the fluff, but... Here's a good tip. If the viewer can't tell if you're actually repeating something or not, you better have a damn good reason to do that. And on his blade was Mondo. I've never seen anyone use such terrible reflections like that. So he lost his arm to David? I like how his animation is to grab it as if the model is still fully intact. Whoa, what? It's the unicorn again. And David. David doesn't like that.
It's a unicorn. I like how the sweat drips down his face despite him lying down and most of the droplets going the right way. Oh man. Oh no, this can't be happening. You! Are you alright? Hey you! So is this modern day Mondo? Okay, I guess not. Like they say you because they don't know Mondo yet, so it's like, <laughs> this is a dream. Does Mondo got teleported into his office. You can take their body parts as spoils. Are we on his, on his living boat? Yeah. His houseboat? Oh, I don't know what you call it in English. I'm gonna have to be quiet though. Because there's someone sleeping. Being a bit, big, big sleepy butt. I'm gonna have to pause and check the recording for. Oh no. That was a level, apparently. I assume that revenge payment is for not dying or getting hit during the attack, and the total cool kills is just use your fucking slashy move. What the f- That level was just like- The only thing that was explained is how he lost his arm and that his mother got killed, but- It still doesn't explain who the hell Dave even is. New mission unlocked. Which is- the giant who stole a planet. Oh my goodness, this guy is American and he's 240 feet tall. You know, he should be Dutch. Uh, tallest people on average, from what I heard. Would make a lot more sense. I guess next time we're gonna fight a 240 foot giant. Which is, let me, let me check that out. 240 divided by 3. A oh, man. That's almost a hectometer. That's just madness. I do like how it's mostly B's and A's. But next time... Yeah. Wow. Just wow. What do you want me to say, like... Wow.